sometimes an email comes along that's so bad that you can't help but tear it down. I got this email about 20 hours ago, and I felt like it was the perfect time to do a cold email teardown, so let's jump into it. So this is the email. He's trying to sell these bracelets to YouTubers. I'm not going to really critique the business idea, but you can kind of draw your own conclusions here. First of all, he's sending it to McPinty with a BCC me, so he's just spamming a list this way. I recommend sending via Yesware. Uh, you guys already know this stuff. So we'll talk about the content of the email. And for that, let's jump into a Google Drive. So let's start with the subject line. The ultimate trendy bracelet for your fans that will help your YouTube channel slash brand grow. We've been testing a lot of subject lines. And actually, what I found is a very high performing subject line is just the name of the company. I know I've been talking about Hi From Alex. I don't think I've talked about this one yet. So instead of this, uh, just call it the name of the channel, which is either Alex Berman or call it B2B sales training. Either way, uh, that's going to get me to open. And then we jump into the body of the email. So, hey, are you looking for that ultimate gift that will help your brand slash YouTube channel grow? Our company creates this handmade engraved bracelets meant for YouTube stars slash entrepreneur, meant for their clients, fans to grow their channels, brands to grow. And this email is unbelievably bad. From here, I'm just gonna start over. And what we know is start with personalization. So, hey, Alex, instead of just, hey, hey, Alex, came across your YouTube channel, really loved, and then, an exact video, right? So just hop over to the channel. Really loved our enterprise outreach system or really loved the video if you're gonna do a template, right? Came across a YouTube channel and really loved video. You're producing amazing content, right? Something like that. Then go into the pitch. Okay, so something like this. Came across a YouTube channel and really love the Our Enterprise Outreach System, cold call and cold email work reports video. You're producing amazing content. I run a company that creates custom bracelets. See attached pictures, for example. Several of our YouTube clients have added them as merch and seen great results. Let's just do the two sentences here. Do you think there'd be demand for these from your audience? Would love to discuss sending free samples on a quick call and the results we've seen with other creators. Simple, right? And then normally I wouldn't recommend sending over pictures with uh, like sending over pictures as an attachment, but really for this, it's, uh, it's, it's better to send a picture just so I kind of get what's going on. I don't really understand this product. Uh, it's probably not tested in the market or maybe it's just not appealing to me as a YouTuber. So I would probably tweak the product or do like a lean product development cycle, you know, maybe talk to some YouTubers, figure out what they actually would want as merch. Otherwise, I would send less pictures. One or two of these is fine. If you're sending in bulk, it's fine to send like three or four that are similar, maybe all YouTuber names. If you're sending one-to-one, -one, I would customize it and write Alex Berman or write B2B sales training or whatever you have in mind for this product. And then throw this one in the, uh, in the garbage. <laughs> If you found value in this video, be sure to like it to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more B2B sales training. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.